Hello there. So before I start this video, I'd actually like to pose a question. I'm also going to take these stupid fucking headphones off because they look ridiculous, honestly. So I was thinking about it as I was throwing all of the shit off this chair onto my bed so I could make this video. Do you sleep with two pillows, but you only use one to like hug? Because I, I definitely do that and I feel like it's a little bit weird and it might come off as a little lonely because uh, I definitely am both of those things. Seeing that you are not a real person and you're a camera, it's safe to say that you probably don't know this about me, but I am an incredibly uncomfortable person. I cannot deal with uncomfortable situations at all. Uh, two years ago, all my friends got me to watch New Girl. It's a funny show. But the main character, Jess, played by that very uncomfortable person from 500 Days of Summer, Zoe Deschanel. Boom. Nailed it. Anyway, she's so awkward and it makes me physically uncomfortable to the point where I have to get up and leave the room because I can't deal with it. Uh, all that being said, today I'm going to do possibly the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done and I'm going to make a video where I watch the first video I ever made on YouTube. Yep. That's, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be get to it. This is a left of the influence review of Halo 2 PC. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to pause it right off the bat. Pausing it right off the bat. Let me clarify the, the meaning behind left of the influence. So, as you can tell by my voice, I'm, I think, 11 in this video. Let me actually, one second. Okay, so, 2010. Seven years ago, almost exactly seven years ago, I think. Was that, was that June? Yeah, June. So, seven years ago, I made this video. Uh, I'm 20 right now, so I was 13 in the video, not too young. And my friends and I wanted to make a YouTube channel where we parodied those above the influence drug commercials because they're so ludicrously stupid. Um, like, it portrays like being high as like this mystical thing where like fucking crazy ass animals are like chasing you and shit and your dog is talking to you so we wanted to parody that um obviously at that point in my life i didn't know what being on drugs was like but i knew that the commercials were stupid and i knew that we could make fun of them so we made this video or this youtube channel called left of the influence never panned out never made the videos uh we couldn't get out of the drafting phase because we were 13 years old so i was stuck with this youtube channel nothing to do with it. I think I made it in 2008 and then we, like I finally uploaded in 2010 and I was like, what can I do? And I just got Halo 2 for the PC and I was like, oh, how can I record? Because this is at this point, video game channels on YouTube were fucking blowing the fuck up. Everyone wanted to make YouTube videos and they all wanted to be gaming. And I was like, dude, I'm going to fucking do that shit. Like, I'm going to be a billionaire. And I was like, oh, I'll make a review of this game I just got. It's Halo 2. I think at this point, Halo 3 was out. Um, or almost out. So they had just released Halo 2 on the PC. And it was just the shittiest port ever. Like, it's so bad. And I, I bought it because I really liked Halo 2, but I didn't own an Xbox. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a video on it. So I googled how to make, how to record gameplay. And I came to this. You could tell on the top left, unregistered Hypercam 2. So we're, we're going to continue. Uh, it just gets worse. Uh, thumbs up to gain followers. Don't know what that means. Please subscribe and rate along with giving feedback by visiting our forum. By visiting our forum. Let me... As you can tell by my tabs, I'm a really busy guy. Uh, how to draw ears. YouTube. PA4.pdf. User dashboard. And review of Halo 2 on a PC. So we're going to go down here. Um... There is no link to a forum in the description. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye, reviewer John dot dot dot. So I guess like I was under the assumption that this was like a company. <laughs> Left of the Influence Review. I'm John Widmeyer with Left of the Influence Reviews. Oh my god, we're six seconds in and I've been talking about this for actually, like the recording time is six minutes right now. I'm going to cut a lot of that out, obviously, but... Now, most people who own 
well, just most people who play video games have heard of the Halo franchise. No shit, you stupid fuck. Also, why don't you go through puberty? Just do it. Everyone doesn't. Why don't you just do it? Like, you're 13 at this point. I'm sure your friends fucking don't sound like little teenage girls. Actually, they probably do. I hate myself. And number two was a very cool game on consoles, I'd say. I. Oh, yes. I would say that uh, the incredibly underrated Halo 2 was very popular on consoles. Very popular, you know, in my humble opinion. Halo 2 is a very popular game. I really enjoyed playing it on the original Xbox, so I thought I'd go and pick up a copy on the PC. Now, I thought I'd go pick up a copy on the PC, as if I went out, got a job, got the money required to buy this game, and bought the game, and didn't just beg my mom to buy it for me. I'll start off by saying, the controls in Halo are a big plus for me. I re so this isn't even about about the video or the commentary, but did you see that fucking warthog like just flying through the air? Let me see if I can go back. I'll start off by saying, look the at that shit. Controls in Halo are a big plus for me. I really like the controls. I'd call them intuitive. <sighs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> It hurts so bad. <laughs> oh yes, I'd call the controls in Halo intuitive. Very intuitive. You know that's a word that I just heard while watching another review of a different video game and I was like, I'm gonna put that word in there. I'm gonna put that word in there so hard. Intuitive? Hell yeah. God, I'm a fucking idiot. And that feels completely lost in the PC version. Okay, maybe I actually had a point here. Um, I thought I was calling the PC controls intuitive. I guess I shouldn't pause the video every two seconds to talk. Uh, the PC controls were trash. 13-year-old uh, me has a point. They were real bad. But uh, also, they were kind of like... Never mind. They use standard I'm not reviewing. person shooter controls. And the cursor feels lost when you're moving it. It has a bit of a lag, which is a really big problem when using guns in the game and it just completely takes me out of the zone when I'm playing this game because I'm trying to shoot somebody that's moving left to right like people do in multiplayer ah yes uh, the multiplayer game where people move left to right I have this problem I keep looking at myself because I'm a narcissistic fuck instead of maybe I should just Hopefully you didn't just hear that. Now I can't look anywhere but in that little lens circle. So maybe I'll actually make direct eye contact with you at all times. And I can't shoot them because the controls are just that mucky. And uh, another thing is uh, the addition of achievements in the game. They didn't. Okay, this is more of a commentary on just the, the 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 overall arc of this um not structured clearly not planned uh, i had nothing going on the mic is probably the worst part the sibilance is is terrible and i i already have a problem with my s's in real life i kind of whistle a little bit and it's so bad in this video like just terrible it's kind of hurting my ears a little bit <laughs> and i like my my 13 year old self like thinks he's making these great points and in hindsight i probably just had a terrible computer i think i was on uh like a 90 gateway computer with it was actually running 98 and then we upgraded it to xp so like this was a terrible computer like i probably have more ram in my computer now than that computer had hard drive space that's probably an exaggeration, but it's honestly probably pretty close. Like, I can't imagine this game took up more than two gigs, and I have like 32 gigs of RAM. <laughs> Didn't have those in the original Xbox version, and they feel lazy and just. Un I love that direct cut 
like I said something, I screwed it up, and then I just, I did a second take, but I didn't leave enough like air time in between the words. So it was like I just didn't take a breath for that whole like two minute monologue. Uninteresting. I mean, almost all the achievements are multiplayer ones, and the achievements are just, in all fairness, not interesting. Uh, one of them... What does that even mean? The achievements are, in all fairness, not interesting. Just trying to make myself sound smart. And failing. All you have to do to get the achievement is shoot somebody with a sniper rifle. And the other one is you just have to stick somebody with a sticky grenade. They're just so simple and they're all worth quite a bit of gamer score so it's pretty much giving away this score. An I despise the fact that we're only two minutes to this video. Another thing I'd like to address is the quick join on the multiplayer and if nobody well, if you click quick join and other people click click quick ah, click quick join earlier you remember when I cut something out why didn't I cut that out what why when editing this was I like you know that other part cutting that out but this part that's a one bro And then it automatically makes a game and this map you see on the screen right now is the only map that the server makes you have plenty of other maps but whenever the server creates a match it only chooses this map for some reason I have no idea why but you're gonna see a lot of this map if you play the multiplayer now to talk about the Halo 2 campaign That that was just the multiplayer review? I'm gonna talk about the campaign now? It's the same campaign. What what is he gonna talk about? It's the same campaign from the original. <laughs> the campaign in Halo is as amazing as it usually is. The campaign in Halo is as amazing as it usually is. Let's dissect that statement for a moment. It is the campaign that it usually is because it's a port. Also, you can tell I'm speaking a lot more quietly in this one, and I can 100% guarantee, knowing 13-year-old me, that that's because there were people home in this one and there weren't people home in the other one. I bet that before I did it while my parents were walking the dogs or something, and now my mom is home for the first 20 years of my life. Like, I obviously, if I go home now, I can fucking have my computer in my room. But when I was younger, the computer was in the living room. It was like a communal computer, but no one used it but me. So it was basically my computer. And it was in the living room and we had two dogs and I have a, a mom and a dad and a sister. So, like, I didn't want to be recording my nerdy fucking YouTube videos while everyone was home making noise and shit. So I just didn't, except sometimes I had to. And in this case, I'm assuming that's why I'm being all like, oh uh, yeah, the, the campaign in Halo is, is a really good campaign. And... <laughs> the um, campaign isn't changed as far as I can tell in the PC version from the console version. And as I said earlier, the control scheme is kind of off in this game. And that makes the combat kind of odd. Um, as you can see right here, I'm actually having trouble shooting a banshee that is flying straight at me. It's because you suck. It is incredibly hard with precision weapons such as sniper rifles to get kills. Uh, it's because you suck. From what I can tell, there is a slight auto aim system, and there isn't. This helps quite a bit. But it still is a very weird experience to be shooting at people in this game. Especially in large firefights. 
in the campaign when there's more than one enemy coming at you on console versions of this game. Am I playing on easy right now? Did I did I consciously choose to play on easy for a review footage? And other first person shooters, you just you get the rush because you can take out large groups of enemies easily and you know you feel okay i'm sorry we're gonna have to go back for a second because i was making fun of something else and i think i missed like actual comedy gold uh so. more than one enemy coming at you on console versions of this game and other first person shooters you just you get the rush because you can take out large groups of enemies easily and you know you feel like like a super person you feel amazing you know the uh the high that you get when you kill multiple people in video games but only in large groups uh you feel amazing and you don't get that feeling from this because controls are just so much worse it's not that i'm just bad at the game it's that the controls are much worse In this game, it feels so... Holy shit. I can't believe I paused right before that. Did you hear that S whistle? That was actually just a whistle. Like, I I just whistled into the microphone. That's all it was. It was just a whistle. Let's go back. <laughs> it feels so... It feels so... <laughs> Realistic in the way this is why we got braces, begun. bro. This is why we got braces. The sense that it is incredibly hard. Um, I almost made a really very inappropriate joke. Of computer first-person shooters, because you have to keep moving the mouse over and over. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm not a fan of first-person shooters on the PC because you have to keep moving the mouse over and over doesn't that just describe using a computer um unlike on consoles when you just hold the thumbstick to the side and that for me is it it's not anything specific for this game, but it might be why the controls seem so off, because on... What a ridiculous 180 I have taken in my gaming career. I can't play console games anymore. Just can't do it. I hate it. They're so, like... Ugh. Computer first person shooters, I'm used to a responsive mouse, a responsive aimer. And in this game, it's just, it feels so laggy, which makes the aiming and just combat in general, it just feels like a chore when you're doing it. <laughs> the achievements for the campaign seem as normal as they would on any other game. You get a achievement for finishing each campaign level. On I think I had notes for this part. And I think that's why I'm speaking like there's a period in between every single word I'm saying. Because I, I was reading it off of a script. I think that there are achievements for each campaign chapter. On either normal, heroic, or legendary. There is no achievement for beating it on easy, but you know, we can expect that. So, to wrap it up, if you're a PC gamer and you want to try out the Halo series, this is obviously the game for you. And if you're a Halo fan who owns a PC and have never played Halo 2, you should also pick up this game. Just watch out for the control scheme, it takes a little while to get used to. But once you get used to it, you'll have a blast. I'm gonna just do some quick wrap up points. That was the shittiest review of anything ever. Pretty much the only thing I spoke of was the, the control scheme. Uh, nothing else. No mention of uh, the PC... What are those things called? Graphical settings? 
Uh, no mention of uh, really just anything of, of use. It's kind of just saying, hey, controls suck. But I think that was mostly just my fault. I, all in all, I thought this was going to be a lot cringier. It was bad. Don't get me wrong. It was real bad. But I was 13. And I feel like when I, like a lot of the 13-year-old videos I see on YouTube, at least at the, at the time that I was making these, were way worse than that. Now, like, fucking 13-year-olds got their shit together. Like, they're making crazy videos. Way better than these. So I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not super embarrassed about that. There, there are other ones that I'm very embarrassed about, and we'll get to those someday, but I figured I've been wanting to make this video for ages. I'm a little under the weather. Sorry, that was kind of disgusting. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you enjoyed, do whatever people do when they enjoy videos. Uh, and get back to me about the pillow thing, because I feel like it's a very important, it's a very important part of my life, it, hugging my pillows when I go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna go stare at a dark wall for a while because my lights are straight up blinding me. Uh, have a nice day.